This week's Torah portion is the beginning of the book of Levit- Leviticus. It's called Pashas Vayikra. And this book, the third book in the Torah, is all about the different offerings that the Jewish people were to bring into the tabernacle, which was newly inaugurated, and then later in the temple. There were offerings of animals and birds and meal offerings and so on. And it says in the Torah that they are to be brought with salt. Only one offering was not, but every other offering was to be brought with salt. There's a story a midrash that teaches that at the beginning of time when God created the world on day two, there were waters which God separated. So there were higher waters up in the spiritual realms and there were lower waters down in this world. And the lower waters, so to speak, complained. They didn't want to be in the lower world. And God said, don't worry, in the future, your water will be used on the altar in the holiday of Sukkot, but also the salt that is in your water will be brought onto the altar in the offerings that are brought daily. We don't have offerings anymore in our day. We don't have a temple, so we don't bring offerings. Instead of the offerings that were brought in the temple, we're bringing our prayers. Our prayers are a replacement. What is the salt? Perhaps the salt is the bitterness of our lives. We have bitter times, hard times, times that could corrode or times that could preserve. There's a covenant that God made with the Jewish people that God would always be in relationship with us. This is represented by the covenant of the salt. So when we bring our salty tears, when we bring our hardships, when we bring the things that are hard in our lives to God in our prayers, that's as if we're putting salt on the altar. And we bring all that up to God and God hears our prayers and God perhaps cries along with us. Please God, God will change the situation so we're not crying and it's not bitter. But at the same time, we pray that the bitterness of our lives will help us, will preserve us, will enhance us, just like salt in food enhances the flavor of the food. We want the salty times that are, in, that are a part of our, of our times to enhance us, to make us better, to bring out the goodness in us, to bring out the compassion and the love that is inherent within us, to bring that out. Perhaps that's the purpose of bringing the salt, is to bring out the goodness that's inside each one of us. We're heading into the holiday of Purim, And in the Purim Megillah that we read about the story of Esther and Haman, Haman wanted to destroy the Jews. He he wanted to get rid of us physically. And so we prayed. Our response was to fast and to pray. In our days, we're being threatened both physically and spiritually. So we have to both pray and fight. We have to do both. We have to physically repel our enemies and we also have to pray and we have to bring our salty tears into our prayers and bring that up as an offering to God and say, God, please help us stay good in these hard times and help us change these hard times so that just like in the Purim story where everything changed in the blink of an eye and we went from destruction to celebration in a moment, please God, could that be our experience?